Games and gaming has been the main source of entertainment for many around the world. Gaming has even been taken up as a profession nowadays, and there have been annual competitions being held around the world. Every gamer and non-gamer are familiar with the Xbox. There have been many who have wished to have one for themselves. The hot topic in Xbox has been NTSC Xbox 360 and PLX. Though they are both Xbox, they are different versions of the game and therefore have their own differences from one another. Differences When it comes to consoles, one of the most confusing and probably the most frustrating issues is NTSC. The Xbox 360 is no exception as there is a version for NTSC and another for The significant difference between the two of them is with which TV sets they work with. A PL Xbox 360 would not work with an NTSC only TV set, and same goes with an NTSC Xbox 360. If you plan on ordering an Xbox 360 from abroad, better make sure that it is compatible with your TV before buying. Another issue, though not directly caused by being NTSC or PAL, is the voltage that the Xbox 360 would. Most countries that are using the PAL standard have 220V power lines while most countries that are using the NTSC standard have 110V power lines. Though it is the general rule it is not always true as there are countries that have 220V power lines but also follow the NTSC standard. Since the Xbox 360 does not take dual voltage, you should look into the right voltage for your console as plugging a 110V Xbox to a 220V power line would quickly fry your console. You would need to get a voltage converter if the voltages on your console and wall outlet don't match. Another concern is the games that you can play with the Xbox 360. Although a lot of games are playable on either system, there are still games that work only on one and not the other. This can be contributed to the region coding that was implemented before to prevent people from playing an NTSC game on a PAL system and vice versa. If you have a PAL game that is known to work with an NTSC system, you can try to change the display settings to 60HE to try and solve the problem. Other than that, the only plausible solution is to get a game that is compatible with your system. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.